Okay, so I'm working on one of the blue backgrounds. Uh, I've cut that up, so I've got a few other little pieces there. Um, but we're working on on this size today. Um, taking our new tree and just placing that on our block and then we're going to stamp up in the uh, nocturne so just make sure that that's completely covered and then I'm just going to place that down so it's just off the edge give that a good press Again, just let that ink absorb into the card. Treat it very much the same as the multifarious. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to create a little hill for that to sit on now. So I'm just going to tear some paper. And then just take that over the edge and then using a smoothie and this time we're going to ink up in the twilight so just ink up over the edge And this will just simply ground the tree like so. And I think what we're going to do is ink up our little hairs and have them sitting here under the tree. Go with this one first. And then just bob him down there. Again, just give that a good press. And then I'll do the same with the other. give the tree a little bit of depth now um, using a paintbrush and one of the colour box inks just adding a little bit of water and we're just going to go around the edge here just to pull that image through you can see by just working around the edge of the tree now how that's making it a more sort of three-dimensional image okay I think we need um, a little bit of foliage going on at the base here and something there at the top. So let's take find a 
couple of stamps here that we can use. Maybe we'll go with this one. But you can use any kind of foliage, anything that you've got. It doesn't have to be the same as what I'm using. And you see how that instantly gives it some depth. There we go. And then at the bottom of the card we can do some mushrooms, I think. And again I'm inking up in the warm breeze. Let's put a moon there as well. Don't put too much ink onto your smooth. Make sure that you take plenty off and then just simply work your way around the edge of the acetate or the paper that you've cut out. There we go. And I think we'll put some words around the edge. It's always nice to have some words. As I've said before, it's that kind of distressed look. I put them somewhere and I cannot find them. Ah, there we go, got them. Okay, so let's have a look at the colours now we've got. Maybe we will use a little bit of the purple, okay? So, inking up. And then stamping off. We're just going to work our way around the edge. And you see how that immediately changes the card. Just those few little words. Okay. So I'm going to stick with the Monarch and I'm just going to work my way around the edge. Again, that little bit of colour around the edge just pulls your eye in. Work your way around and you can see how quick and easy this is to make. All these papers do is just provide a base for you, something to start. So. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the moon now with a little bit of the glue. This is our glue pen. And then we're going to put a little bit of the glitter over the top. Okay, and now 
taking one of our moon dusts. This is a blue and purple, which will suit the colours I've used in the card and just sprinkle that around the edge there and then we're going to simply tap that off and there we have a really lovely and quick card and we just mount that up then and it's all ready to go. So that was a really quick and easy demo for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.